This is my problem. This will uh, keypad quit working on me, or at least the right side numbers did. And I need those in order to get in, I need the pound sign. So, had myself a little Joe Mitchell fit and, uh, well, finished the job. We're going to go to the hardware and get a cutoff wheel. We're going to cut this thing open. Stay tuned for more. So, we are on our way to the hardware right now to get us a cutoff wheel for my angle grinder that I got for Christmas. And we are going to cut open a safe today, or maybe tomorrow. Kind of depends on, uh, on how I can film this. So I'm going to do a little vlog today, kind of tell you what's been going on in the week. I, I just got off of my work week. I had four days that I worked this last week. I think maybe five, actually. I uh, had a pretty slow weekend due to the weather. Uh, we only ended up taking one flight, and it wasn't anything too terrible. Uh, and then we ended up having to take a few ground transports because we were red for weather. When we go red for weather, they put us in an ambulance usually, and we do ground transports. So, good work week. Didn't have any complaints about that. We'll talk a little bit about maintaining appointments. Um, not, per se, me maintaining appointments because I usually keep appointments whether I'm you know a few minutes late or not, that's one thing. But your appointment maker, I'm gonna talk about that a little bit and things that piss me off about people not maintaining appointments. Um, I got my GoPros. I was going to order a couple of new cameras. Right now I'm using a GoPro Session 5 and from what I can tell right now the sound quality is fucking garbage. Uh, I know right now you can hear a lot of background noise. I'm not entirely sure how to fix that yet other than getting an extra microphone or something that might plug in uh, and hook onto my shirt right here. Because I know that you're hearing either background noise or at least static noise that's just coming from inside the truck. I have tested that. I've checked that out. Video quality is fucking great. I like that. Uh, the only problem I had, I ordered the two cameras. This is a Session 5 Hero, so it's just that little cube, 1x1 one one or 2x2 two two cube. Very portable. Goes anywhere. Push a button. Just works. But I also bought a Hero 6. Uh, I guess it's the Black Edition. I don't know. And it, right out of the box, did not work. Uh, I ordered it from a website that, I, that I'm part of for discounts. Uh, for firefighters, police, EMS first responders, being a flight nurse, I fall under that category. And got the camera for a pretty good deal, like 25 bucks off. Brand new. It, it was brand spanking new from GoPro, or at least from this website. To my door, I'm the only person that's ever opened it. The Session, the 5, the little one. Uh, plugged it in, charged right up, works great. The 6, put the battery in, wouldn't turn on, wouldn't charge. So I called GoPro directly. And though I'm, I'm a little disappointed for how high quality they, they want to say these cameras are very disappointed that right out of the box it wouldn't work. Now, which is neither here nor there, this is mass produced shit. You're going to get one or two, a couple here or there that have some problems. Unfortunately, I just got a bad apple and GoPro was great about it. The, the lady I talked to from their customer service, she spoke enough English that I could understand her very well. And then she told me a few steps that I needed to take to see what might be wrong or see if I couldn't reset the camera. So I did. Nothing happened. And right away, she, there was no beating around the bush. She didn't tell me to send it back to where I ordered it from. She, she said, uh, I need your email. Take a couple of pictures of the camera, the UPC on the camera, get the serial number from the camera, email it to her directly. She did this while I was on the phone with her. She stayed right on the phone and, and talked me through everything I needed to do. And she emailed me a, a postage return stamp uh, for FedEx, that, which was kind of a, 
a pain in the butt because I had to wait a few days to send it in because I wasn't going to be able to, being that I was going to work. So, you know, a week, it took me a week to get it mailed out because the closest FedEx hub to me is down in Eagle River, Wisconsin, which is 30 minutes away. Uh, my local post office doesn't deal with FedEx, I guess, or at least doesn't take FedEx out. They'll do uh, UPS, but UPS delivers right to my door. FedEx, every time I get something from FedEx, seems to go to the post office, which is, well, whatever, it's not a problem. I just have to wait a couple of days extra to get mail. Things go a few days slower here in the UP. Most of you who live here probably know that if you're out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so that's in the mail. They should be sending me a new one the second that they get this camera. They'll send me a brand new one. Hopefully it'll work. Another positive on that was they, they only wanted the camera. They got to keep everything else in the box, the, the little sticky mounts, so I can put those anywhere I want to, the charging cord, the battery. They just wanted the camera and nothing else. So I got an extra battery out of the deal, extra charging cord, extra mounts. That's cool. This camera right here, this is the first time I'm, I'm really using it. So, as I said, it, I don't know, I don't have a computer that's going to be able to really do anything great with this. Um, when I do get that, I'll probably be able to make a little bit better vlog videos uh, and movies in general. My truck, which is a Tacoma, it's 2016 Tacoma, one of the things that they bragged about, which I, it's neither here nor there to me, Although now I, I do have a GoPro. I had a GoPro before. It has a mount built into the windshield. So right here, this is the uh, rear view mirror which I had to move out of the way in order to get a clear view. It has a GoPro mount on the window right here to the right of the rear view mirror. It's cool. It's a cool feature, but they, they advertised it like it was some big thing. I, it's not that big a deal. I mean, I literally, I could go get one of these mounts for a dollar or less and stick it right there and it had done the same damn thing. The cool thing about it is that it's just cool. There's nothing else. It really doesn't add any value or to this truck at all. Um, the mount though, if you have just a regular GoPro mount on your camera uh, or a connection mount, it would look something like this. Possibly like that. So you wouldn't even have me in the center of the, of the picture right here. Like you do, uh, or you did just a minute ago when I moved. I went and bought a swivel arm mount. So in order to uh, get the view that I'm getting right now, it's a, it's a ball swivel and I can turn the camera any which way. So if I want to look out that window, do that. If I want to look out or look at me, I do this, and I also can uh, swivel it around and loosen the arm. What? Probably shouldn't do it while I'm driving, but I can swivel it around and do this and get out the front of the truck. Where if I just had a standard mount, uh, I'm going to have to take it right off the, the mount that's on the window and flip it around on the camera. At least this way, if I want to just quickly swivel something around, I can do that. So, and I can't see anything on this camera itself. There's no screen on it. That's not an option. That's fine. Um, but I do have the GoPro app on my phone. I've got it connected to this camera. I can see myself on my phone right now, basically live feeding from the camera. There's that. Now, the appointment deal. If you're going to give somebody an appointment, now I, I know that everybody's got stuff that comes up, whether it be medical stuff, family stuff. If you're going to give somebody an appointment to do something, a doctor's appointment, in my case I was going to go have some work done on a tattoo on my arm from a guy who I've given an awful lot of money to the last couple of years for tattoo work up in Ontonagon. Now, guy does good work. And 
that's the reason I do go to him. But the last two times I've gone up to him, he's had an appointment set for well in advance, a week in advance, or two in advance. And he's canceled on me. Another buddy of mine that he was doing some tattoo work on, he canceled on him too. Now, at the time frame, yeah, everybody was getting sick and he was, he was supposedly sick and he canceled my buddy's tattoo appointment and mine for the same week within days of each other. Okay, understandable. I don't want somebody tattooing on me while you're sick, if you're puking, if you're shitting your brains out. I don't want you touching me. Especially if there's going to be an open wound, basically, on your arm. A fresh open wound. Now, that was back in December. Or maybe early January, I guess. No. And this week, I had an appointment set, well, a week in advance. And literally yesterday I was supposed to go it, it's an hour I'm getting ready I had plans set I had a babysitter for Lincoln and I'm getting ready to go drop Lincoln off and he texts me and says that he's he's got to cancel okay got a medical issue that he's been in and out of the hospital for the last few days with okay I get it I get it I've been there don't call me an hour before an appointment when you knew goddamn well that you were going to cancel the appointment. Let me know a day ahead of time. Give me a heads up saying, hey, I might have to cancel on you because I've had some medical stuff. Don't know if I'm feeling up to it. Because it's not like it's a, a quick little in and out. I've got a bunch of time and he's probably going to be spending eight hours tattooing on me. If you ain't feeling up to it, not 100% ready to do that, I'd rather cancel. Got some road traffic that we're stopping for. They're working on the edge of the road here. So, hour before, I had to call my babysitter and cancel, which is, is fine. That's probably better for for them, you know, it gives them one less kid that they gotta watch. Not that Lincoln is, is very hard to watch. Anyway. And it left my day wide open, which I, I didn't really have any plans on anyways. I was just gonna sit there and, and get tattooed on for the next eight hours. But it, it's very annoying, and it really makes me not want to use this guy anymore just because you know, somebody's going to keep canceling appointments on you. And it's they're legitimate reasons. There are legitimate reasons to cancel an appointment. But when it's every time that you make an appointment with somebody that this happens, what do you, what do you expect? You, your expectations of, of that person really start diminishing. But the guy does good tattoo work. That is the reason I have been using it. So, that's that. That's my rant about that. And I'm just about to the hardware now. Get my cutoff wheel. I'm going to go back, take my frustrations out on a safe. And hopefully, get it open today. We'll find out. And I'll take you along for that journey, too. Bye bye. Well, that's the end result. Angle grinder versus safe. Did decide to move it out. Travis helped me. Because it was setting off the fire alarms in the house. Anyways, got all my guns and my other stuff out of here. Like I said, forgot, uh, or didn't forget anything. The uh, code on the front of the door part of it quit working and for the cost of a not a safe smith a locksmith uh, 
I could have bought this safe again. So that's probably what we'll wind up doing because I don't think there's any fix in this. Hope you enjoyed that.